just got the pool for our morning session and Danny's in with the best elite team and they're actually doing a set that I wrote for Reg when he was back from Sterling a couple weeks ago. Um, I wrote this for him, it was an absolute beast of a set. So I've just started the uh, last 250s which are 200 pace. 31, nice. There's a good enthusiasm from Coach Danny over here as they come into their last 50. Finding a 200 pace set, Richie. Tough. Feeling fatigue after this service. Uh, it's three weeks of hard training, but other than that, feeling good. Feeling good. I think we're getting a last minute set addition from Coach Danny here. I think he's adding some 2500 pace at the end. So to finish that session off, we're going 425, a little swim down, and then they're going to go, I think, a, a run and die 50. Six, 15, eight, seven, three. This is their last 2500 pace, then they get three 200s, a two, before smashing out a last 50 effort. So uh, we come down to the usual time, 10 today, and we always saw the best elite team training. They were doing, yeah, a wicked 200 pace set that I wrote a little while ago. And uh, they've done a good job. Richie dived a 29.8 at the end from the side, with a little run up. Um, GoPro, I forgot my SD card, so we can't show that, but it looked very nice. Um, so they've got a few guys going to the Spanish championships in mainland. Spain next weekend as well as a few coming with us to the meet here in Mallorca so that's, that's exciting for them and then I literally I don't know maybe because it's a bit overcast today everything seems a little bit grim and dull I just, I'm not, not feeling huge, super motivated it happens to the best of us um, so I'm just trying to get stuck in with what I've got Lewis is doing a good job of motivating me so I've done a very short warm up like 300 then put a uh, put my arena carbon glide on and yeah just done a 50 push start fly there 26.6 my best ever just before I tapered last year was 26.1 so 26.6 ain't bad felt really nice on the way out and the turn was slow and I just really felt the fatigue hitting on the way back maybe that's due to not warming up much so I'm just resting now and we're gonna hit a few others out and um, see if I can get one a little faster before the lactate comes and bites me done done session done Happy days now, competition now with Lennox. That is my training week finished. I done three fifties in the end. They're all very close together, as in time-wise and how long rest I had, but 26.6, 26.7, 26.8. Um, so not far from my best push start ever, but I normally die a lot more in terms of like the lactate over the 350s would really kick in. So I weren't, felt sick at the end, but I weren't getting slower and slower. Maybe because I was sharpening up my race skills. But I didn't feel like the, um, the absolute power on my, my best is quite there yet. But I've, I've noticed more speed come through this week. I wasn't feeling super great. And I, I know it's ridiculous, but just, just the greyness of the day compared to how sunny it's been up until now. Really does seem to affect like my mood and how fast I swim. Maybe I'm just being a bit of a bit of an overthinker. But yeah, that's the week done. I swam down about 700 meters afterwards. Uh, pools are shut tomorrow, so I, I couldn't swim if I wanted to but I'm having the day off tomorrow, which I think is needed. And I'm um, just gonna really rest next week and just make myself feel good, make myself feel fast and get ready to go. We can see Lewis in the background of that shot there, but he's just having a nice little lose enough to finish his session off. And um, he's looking good. He's been looking really good all week, actually. Um, don't know what drill he's about to do now, but we'll, we'll see how he looks. The boy's just sculling. And uh, when we get out, we're gonna go back and it's the first ISL semi-final. So we're super excited for that. See what sort of naughty times get dropped there. So our training group has uh, grown. We've been joined by Adam. He's, uh, he's made an appearance. And um, while picking him up from the airport, we've gone into Maine, Palmer. 
we haven't been there before and we've got some lovely sandwiches from Pleno. And for some reason, Adams is literally three times bigger than our sandwiches. Don't know how he's pulled that off. So that wraps up both this vlog and our first week in Mallorca. We've got five days now to our meet. So it's gonna be a pretty relaxing week with a sprinkle of speed. And yeah, it should be fun. I'm gonna continue documenting our journey. If you like the video, do the usual subscribe, like, notifications, and as always, I'll see you on the next video.